In today's video, I want to give you a basic explanation of the Facebook pixel and how advertisers use it to generate sales for their ad campaigns. The Facebook ads pixel is a piece of code that is placed on the advertiser's website. It's a unique code that's generated within the Facebook ad account of the advertiser, and it essentially allows you to do three very powerful things. Number one, it lets you track user actions after a user sees an ad from your Facebook or Instagram campaign. Take for example, someone that just saw an ad for clothing and they clicked on the ad, they went to the website and browsed around and eventually they go on to make a purchase. Now the advertiser who's running those ads would be able to go into their Facebook slash meta ad manager and see the action recorded in connection to the campaign they are actively running. Now one technical caveat here is that after Apple rolled out their iOS 14 update, you don't see this information in real time and it could take 72 hours, up to 72 hours, before you're gonna see that in your reporting. Now, being able to see what campaign specifically and which audience in your campaign is generating sales is essential as it allows you to optimize your money between the different campaigns and audiences and over time improve your ROI. Now, the second function of the Facebook slash Meta ads pixel is to self-optimize. The pixel has machine learning capabilities that help your campaigns learn and improve performance over time. How does this work? Well, as users start to click on your ads and buy products from your website, the Pixel uses that real-time data and feeds it back to the ads platform so that it can focus your campaign on finding more people who are taking similar action recently. Now, if you wanna test this out for yourself, next time you see an ad on your Facebook or Instagram feed that is selling you a product, click on the ad, go to the website and buy it and what you will experience in the next seven days is that your entire feed will be full of ads for similar brands and similar products. Now, if you don't wanna spend the money, obviously don't buy the product, but if you can reach the add to cart stage of the website, it is also very likely that you'll be targeted with similar brands as it is a high intent action that many e-com advertisers also optimize for. Now, the third function of the pixel and often the one most underutilized is creating new audiences for targeting off the data. One of the biggest challenges that you have as a new advertiser is that you won't have a lot of customer data and customer data is very valuable for online sales because you can build lookalike audiences on Facebook that are extremely powerful. Now I'll link you to a video below where we'll go into more detail about that, a whole nother topic, but essentially once the pixels on your website and tracking actions, you can build different types of audiences of people who behave similarly, and you could even do this even if you haven't had any sales data yet on your website. Now, Facebook advertising can seem simple at first, but it's become quite complex over the years and the technology just continues to change. And over the last 10 years, I've bared witness to this, working with global brands and running thousands of campaigns, investing over $75 million in ad spend. Now, if you want to learn more about Facebook ads with a structured program for e-com advertising specifically, that is simple to follow, then make sure you check out our Hypergrowth Ads membership that grants you access to 31 exclusive videos designed to help you build and launch high converting campaigns on Facebook. Check it out now via the link in the description. And if I don't see you in the program, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until the next one, peace.